Hi, I'm Michael Dragalis with Confluent. If Apache Kafka is the de facto data infrastructure for storing and transporting events, then KSQL DB is the best way to process those streams of events. Hopefully you've had a chance to use KSQL DB in Confluent Cloud and get a feel for how it can speed up the way you write code that processes data in motion. While knowing its features and syntax is critical, you might also want to know how it works under the hood. That's what this course will give you. We'll talk about its basic internal architecture, how stateless and stateful operations work, how stream table and table table joins work, and how it delivers on complex features like elastic scaling, fault tolerance, and high availability. If you're building applications on Kafka or in Confluent Cloud, then you should know how to use KSQL DB. If you want to take your knowledge to the next level, then be sure to take this course, KSQL DB Internals. Mm -hmm.